breath and movement practice for us today. We're going to be working the chakras from the bottom up, sinking movement and breath. It's really beautiful practice. It helps cultivate that balance and from within. So we can experience the struggles of the outer world without letting it affect us inside. It's also a really good practice for the morning. Brings lots of chi, lots of prana into the body right away to set your day up for success. Let's begin in a cross-legged seat. And we'll start with supi rolls. Go ahead and begin. Just take the pelvis in little circles. We'll do 45 seconds in one direction and then switch. So starting off really slow and soulful, taking big rounds with the sacrum. Letting the circles travel up the spine, getting the head involved, the shoulders involved. Going a little quicker here, deepening the breath. And then switch directions, go the other way. And starting slow and sweet, quickening the pace as feels right for you. Feel the whole body get into it. We're working the root chakra here, our safety center, where all of our very basic needs reside. Pause. We'll notice the effect. And we'll start with a camel ride, moving into the sacral center, our center of creativity. Bring your hands to your ankle, your shins, and just start tilting the pelvis forward and back. As you breathe in, lift the heart. As you breathe out, round the back, almost like a cat cow here. Starting our breath of fire, we're working with a snap back of the navel to spine. Forcing the breath out of the body with the breath out, with the exhale. With the contraction, with the lift of the diaphragm. Speeding up a little bit as you go along. Try to keep the shoulders and head neutral. We're working this mostly in the lower body from, from here for this one. Option to close the eyes or shift the gaze down, allowing yourself to feel into the sensations. Keep it up. About 15 more seconds here. You've got this. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded, know that that's completely normal. And we're finished. Take a deep breath in and a sweet breath out. Next, we'll work with the solar plexus, extending the arms. Now we'll really bring in our breath of fire. So we're just working the breath here with the arms out. And the arms will get tired. That's okay. Challenge yourself to keep them up. Take a big breath in and begin. <laughs> Breathing in and out through the nose. <laughs> Snapping the belly back. Taking quick sips of air in, hardly even noticeable. You don't have to think about them at all. 
just focused on the breath out. I'm doing these exercises for 90 seconds. We've got 60 seconds left. Grow proud in the chest. Drop the shoulders down the back. Lift the arms higher. Thirty seconds. Feel any cramping happening in the abdominals? Let it happen. Twenty more seconds. You've got it, this. Just for three, two, one. Relax your arms down. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And a gentle sigh out of the mouth. Coming into the heart space now. Bring your hands in front of you, locking the fingers in a C clasp. The elbows point out. We're going to take some flaps of the arms here. So just like this. Inhaling, the left arm comes down. Exhaling, the right. And let's begin in a few seconds here. Take a big breath in and begin. I'm going as quickly as you can right away. Working with the heart center here. I'm getting all of the <clears throat> fluids moving in the upper torso. Really listening for that flapping of the arms. Don't be shy. We're working the limp. We're working the prana, the chi, moving energy through the lungs, through the torso, through the arms. About halfway there, keep going. You might feel the pelvis shift from right to left a little bit. That's okay. Keep going. You've got this. Noticing habitual patterns, habitual holding patterns here. Notice what you tend to do and try to do something else. And that's enough. Relax. Let the shoulders slide down the back. Feel any energetics in the body that have arisen. Any feelings of tingling or electricity? Okay, we move into the throat chakra next. So we're working with the shoulders and the upper body. We'll lift the shoulders up on the inhale and push them down on the exhale. And this one, you'll feel lots of tension in the shoulders quite soon. And part of this is that cultivating equanimity. And so when you notice that you're tired, Challenge yourself to keep going. Okay, so we'll begin here in about 10 seconds. You might take a few rolls of the shoulders before we begin. All right, inhale to lift, exhale to drop. Inhale to lift, exhale to drop. Working that Kapalabhati breath. So the breath we've been working the whole time, the inhale lifts the shoulders, the exhale snaps the belly back, squeezing the breath out of the body. Try to relax the arms, the elbows, just sort of letting them flop around. 
matching the work of the shoulders with the relaxation of the arms. Something that helps me cultivate equanimity, bringing in some ease when something is hard. We're already a minute in, just 30 more seconds to go. Home stretch, keep it up. I believe in you. And relax. Listening to the body, to what's happening within. Not reacting, not responding, just breathing through it. The third eye is next, our center of intuition. For this one, we're going to take some rolls out of the neck, 45 seconds in one direction and 45 in the other. So go ahead and begin. Sweetly shifting right ear to right shoulder, dropping the head back, then left ear to left shoulder, then chin to chest, or vice versa if you chose to go the other way first. Just feeling into the cervical spine, listening for any little cricks and cracks, lubricating the neck, the, the vertebrae in the neck, and we're releasing cerebral spinal fluid. We're tuning in another direction. Keeping the lower body still, taking long, slow, full belly breaths as you circle the head. Just a few more moments here. We're complete. Inhale the head back to neutral. Our last chakra is the crown. Inhale the arms up overhead, touch the palms. This one we take the body from side to side, inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. And we'll go fairly quick here. A minute and a half. Shoot the tailbone down, root the sit bones, lengthen the crown, reach the fingers up, and begin. Biceps by the ears, moving lots of breath throughout the body. Moving the head with the torso and the arms. Working the energy up and out. So we started with the roots, drawing the energy up each and every chakra, each and every energy center, up through the back, through the whole spine, we're out through the crown of the head. Releasing everything that does not serve us, releasing habitual patterns that don't serve us, thought patterns that don't serve us, to create space for what does serve us. 30 seconds left. Get a little stronger with the breath. Home stretch. And we are complete. Exhale the arms down. 
Take a deep breath in and a complete exhale. Feeling the energy in the body. Noticing any shifts in your mind since you began. The next inhale brings the arms up overhead. Curl the fingers into the palms, keeping the thumbs extended out. Squeeze all the breath out of your body. And inhale from the bottom up. Expanding the chest evenly, expanding the whole torso evenly. Suspend the breath at the top. And exhale. Cannonball the breath out through the mouth. Bring the hands to the knees. Take your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this helps bring some balance, some equanimity into your day. I'll see you next time. Namaste.